Henson AL13++. This is the medium aggressive razor. This is a great razor. Um, Shannon's Shave Soap here. This is the Rust Belt Reserve. Nice little packaging. Uh, she gives you four ounces. Smell of it. It has a unique smell, so I wanted to give it a rip. It is tallow based, but I, I like the labeling. And if you ever used any of uh, Shannon's shave soaps, uh, her labels, they put a lot into it. I, I think they're pretty cool. So anyhow, uh, I'm gonna go in with, um, I'm gonna go in with my cheapest brush. This one is from the Razor Company. If you guys haven't gone to their store, uh, this is a synthetic brush, got great backbone. I know they were sold out of these, but I'm pretty sure they're getting them back in. So I'm gonna be using this brush today. So I'm just gonna go down here and warm this water back up. I'm just gonna put some water on my face. Got out of the shower about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes ago. So I'm just gonna start this from scratch. Face is so dry. So dry. Uh, let me grab that. All right, so with a synthetic brush, you don't have to soak this in a bowl or in your sink basin while you're taking a shower. You can just take a shower. This one's dry. Stick it right down in the water. I mean, I'm just plunging this in the water. Ring it. It's ready to go. That's one of the coolest things about a synthetic brush. Now, going in here, these brushes hold a ton of water and th this brush in particular I think is the best buy out there and what I like to do is paint it on my face first before I start working it up going down and getting more uh, water to hydrate yeah, it's got a unique smell to it this is one of her best sellers. So now that I've got it painted on my face, I'm just gonna put the tips in. And what I mean by the tips is just like an eighth of an inch, 16th of an inch, not much. So I just put it down in there. Now break the backbone and start a lather. And you can just see how well her soaps pop. I go down for a little bit more and then I'll start loading up my equipment for today. Now, if you have a sensitive neck area, pay more attention to that area when you're lathering up, like I'm doing. All right, so I'm just gonna Finish that off like that. Just got my little handy dandy shape bowl here. Set that to the side. Now I'm gonna go in with the Henson AL13. This is the enhanced version, version two. And I'm gonna load in a uh, Persona blade. Use this in my last shave. Got one shave on it, so it's perfect. One thing I wanna show about Persona blades is there's no, there's no play in the top cap of the Henson, none compared to some other razors. And the Henson locks in so well, you can see the two bars down here, the two slits, that gives it four points of contact. If it's a post, it only has one point of contact. So letting you know it's well built. On the enhanced version down here, the cuts go all the way through. If you have version one, it stopped right here at the, there was two cuts. Now it goes completely through. And to know that you have it loaded correctly, there's a tungsten insert down here. You should be able to see that when you're loading up your, loading your handle on here. Okay, cool thing is, now with, what I've noticed with the medium is, like right here, it starts to get tight, right? But there's still more. Okay, that tungsten insert is in there so it doesn't strip out because this is aluminum. But the nice thing with Henson's are the knurling on the handling is very aggressive. 
uh, especially on the version two. Very, very aggressive. So as you can see, the blade gap is perfect. There are no overhang here, no tabs sticking out. So going underneath your nose, around your ears, when you're head shaving, um, you're not gonna have that issue. Now, some people think it's a negative about this razor because it only weighs 38 grams and with the blade, 39 grams. Um, I don't see that being a problem just because I've shaved with it so much that for me, I just like if I don't get the right angle, it doesn't cut. So I can get a BBS perfect shave 90% of the time with this razor. This is the only razor I can say that with. I mean, I like Rockwell razors as well, don't get me wrong, but I get more perfect shaves out of this razor. Now, there is a little bit of a learning curve if you're already using a safety razor because it's so light, but it's minute. You're just applying too much pressure because it's so light. All right, so let me go back in here real quick. Just add some more water to my face. I'm just gonna hydrate. Now, if you recently picked up one of these razors or any razor uh, and you haven't picked up a shaving brush or a shaving cream, these two things I highly recommend. Uh, get a shave brush. I don't care how much you spend, but $16, pretty inexpensive. Now you gotta buy it directly from the razor company, but it's a great company. Once you start dealing with them, you're gonna like them, great people. And they got a ton of soaps there on as well. All right, so just let me hydrate a little more. But yeah, don't forget to pick up all these other things if you recently got into shaving with a safety razor. All right, so just gonna take this, go down in here, and I'm gonna go in for my first pass. So what I'm gonna do is find the spot on my ear that I wanna match up and do it both on the same side. So I'm gonna find it right about there, bring it over. Oh yeah, she's good. Now one thing with the Henson, as you, you can watch why I'm shaving, if I don't get the correct angle, you'll see it won't clear all the soap. That's letting you know you have the wrong angle. I love that feature about this razor. Beautiful. See right there where I didn't remove it? That's where I did not get the correct angle. Huge selling point for this razor. There's a reason why this razor is the number one selling safety razor out there. It's good. Now, if you're new, I like to rock it in till it bites or till I can feel it cutting. That's That way I know I have the correct angle. I just don't go right in. I try to rock it in, watch. Got the angle. Now what I do is I use half of the razor here to do my lower lip. And watch how I do that. See how easy that was? If you try going down, it's really hard. A lot of people cut themselves. If you try going up, it's a little easier, but a lot of people cut themselves. If you just go across, you're gonna get it all and you're gonna be like, wow, that was easy. Why didn't? Ha why haven't I done that? Thank me in the comments below. All right, she's good there.
Now, what I concentrate on when I'm doing my neck is not flinging the razor with my wrist, okay? I'm going to use my arm, right, to maintain that angle. Because if you don't, this is where a lot of people fail because they fling it. Same thing on their downstroke, they fling it. So the backstroke, just maintain that angle with your arm. That hand is not moving. My arm is. It's one of my best tips for anyone starting out, especially if you have a lot of neck hair like I do. All right, same thing over here. Find my spot there is like the, yeah, it was about right there. So good. I mean, wonderful razor. All right, let me match this up. Good, good. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, let's give that a rinse. All right, same thing. I'm not, you don't have to add any more soap to your brush. If you got enough, if you didn't, go back and grab more, not a big deal. Oh yeah. So good, dude. So freaking good. All right, now what I like to do is pinch my brush here. Add a little more cushion down on my neck area where I'm really sensitive at. I'm not really concerned there. Okay, going in for the second pass across the green. Now with the Henson's, I can generally get away with just two passes and maybe some touch-up. Let's see how I did today. Gonna go against the grain because I have sensitive neck. I can't go across the grain on my neck or it's instant razor burn. So I go against the grain. So easy. You notice I'm not breaking that wrist at all. Biggest tip you can do. Don't break the wrist. Yeah, let me put a little bit more down here. Against the green. Going over that with an alum block. If you haven't picked an alum block up yet, this is... I mean, no brainer, cheap. I like the Parker one. It's twice as big as the one I used to recommend, the Gentleman John one. 
No tingling up here. And when it tingles, that's when you know you got a little too close. Mm, slightly there, which is not uncommon for me. Underneath my cheek line is, if I'm going to get razor burn, generally where it's going to be. But a little tingle down here. But what this alum block is going to do is help seal it. It's going to help naturally close your pores, right? So your face can heal. So if you get a lot of razor burn, razor bumps, this is key. And it comes in a nice little container, which I like. All right, put that away. Let me rinse this alum off with some cold water. If you don't rinse it off, you're gonna, it leaves like a white residue. A lot of times I don't show it on camera just because I thought everybody knew that. All right, so, whew, I'm gonna do a head shave, I think tomorrow, but I'm going in with Thayer's. I know most people own this stuff. There's a reason why it's number one seller on my channel. It's because it's good. Put that everywhere. If you're bald, I put it on my head as well. All right. That stuff is so slick, so wet. Oh, yeah, dude. Just what a fantastic shave that was. I'm just going to put some Nivea on. This stuff right here, another great seller on this channel. Very inexpensive. And uh, and I'm just going to put that much. I, I'm not liberal with this stuff because I use it on my head as well. At least the bald, bald part of my head. Until I shave it. All right, so to wrap that up, I got to say, Shannon Soap Company, this is a winner. I She uses a tallow base. Um, it's very slick. Like that second pass that I did, I didn't really have to put that much more soap on it for it to get it to pop again. And that's how I can tell if it's a very good soap is how slick it is on my second pass. Uh, this soap right here, 10 out of 10 for sure. So the shave brush, I, I got to tell you, the shaving brush right here, it's a winner, man. I used to recommend a cheaper one on Amazon. It didn't do as good of a job as this one. So if you can get your hands on one of these, this is a 24 millimeter knot. This thing, I'm gonna tell you right now, number one selling brush that I've ever used for the price it is. Now, all you gotta do is rinse that out, right? Till there's no more, till the water gets clear. And then take a towel and, you know, just kind of dry the tips off, right? And then just, you know, set it on your stand or whatever you might have. Henson shaving, there's a reason why this razor is so good. And it's because if it doesn't, if you don't get the right angle, it doesn't cut. And it's such a smooth shaving razor. These guys make satellite parts for space. That's how precise these guys are. Nobody tools their razors to the tolerances that Henson Shaving does. That's the reason why you're seeing all those videos. It's probably a reason why you own one or you've been thinking about getting one. They're really good, highly rated. Now there's other aluminum razors out there that people claim that are better. Mm, no, they're not. They're lying to you. They might come close, but it's they're not better. There's a reason why everybody's trying to copy what these guys do. That good. Highly recommend it. Use the codes down below to help support the channel. The alum block. If you haven't picked an alum block up yet, you're missing out. Especially if you have sensitive skin. Now, if you don't have sensitive skin, then that might be a process you can skip. Personally, I wouldn't. But Thayer's, I don't care who you are. Gotta pick this stuff up. Stuff's like $10. You can, you, you can find it on sale most of the time on Amazon. Same thing with the Nivea. Uh, two no-brainer products that you should have in your bathroom, shaved in, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's it. Well, thanks for watching. You have a great day.